Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Welcome to the letter K in the A to Z of real-time marketing. So K is going to be about keeping up with new features. What's the best way to do that? So the best way would be to read my blog or watch my videos, I guess. But if you don't have time for that or I don't have anything coming out, um, one of the things that we can do is we can look within the app itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at where you might be able to see stuff. Okay, so we're in the outbound marketing area and we're on the get started page. So this landing page or this splash page is showing us some sort of top things, things that you might want to do that are most common. So designing an email, creating a segment, creating a journey, and then we've got explore other areas. So if we were to switch to the real time marketing area, we're going to have the same thing. We're going to have a splash landing page with some of the top things that you might want to do, creating an email, creating a journey, uh, creating a text message. So then we've got that same explore other areas. We can switch back to outbound marketing. We've also got event planning and the settings area. So we can switch quickly from these areas. Then what we've got down at the bottom is we have an other resources section. So the first thing is we've got a link to release notes. So if I click on that, that's going to take me in to um, the Microsoft documentation area that's all about release notes. So what we've got at the top is the current release plans and then we've got archived release plans for Dynamics 365 and the Microsoft Power Platform. So if we go into the Dynamics 365 one, what we're going to find is down the left hand side we have all of the different areas of Dynamics 365 and we've got marketing. So we can open up and we can see what's new and planned and what this does is it shows us all of the different sort of sections and then within there what the different uh, changes or new functionality would be. And then we see when is it going to be in public preview or early access and then also general availability. That means it's going to be in the product. It's something that you should or can use in a live environment compared with public preview, which is, hey, it's out here, but actually we're putting it out here because we want you to give feedback. So if you're using it in a live environment, something goes wrong, Microsoft are kind of like, mm, we told you it was in preview, so it should really only be used in like a sandbox or a test environment. So we can see everything that's new and planned, and again, we can see when is it going to be available and so on. So that's great. The release notes is going to be showing you what's planned. So that will help you stay up to date. A couple of other areas, though, that might be of interest or use is we've got this support community. And if I click on that, it's going to take me to one of the support forums specifically for Dynamics 365 Marketing. So this is where people have posted questions, issues, um, then others have come along and actually replied, given feedback and so on. So at the minute, there's not a whole lot in terms of, or it doesn't look like in terms of people actually responding. So it could be something where you're able to go in and help others. Also a place where you can post your questions and see if people will be able to assist you. And then finally on the bottom here, this is a great feature that, or, or site that Microsoft have for all of their different um, solutions or all of the different products. And this link takes you to the specific one for marketing. And this is where if you have an idea or you've got a suggestion, you can go ahead and you can post it in here to say, hey, I think this would be a great feature, or why don't you do this, or I feel like this is missing. So if we go into analytics and insights, for example, it says there's 30 posts, then it's basically saying, um, so we've got, please provide the ability to report on where the contact, where is the contact in the contact, um, where is the contact in the customer journey? Adding insight data to advanced find capabilities. So people have come up with these thoughts, ideas, suggestions, and then what you can do is you can come along and you can vote for these ideas. So typically, Microsoft will review and if there are ideas that have the highest votes, they might be more likely to be reviewed and possibly considered to add into the project or into the roadmap for the project. So 
few ideas, a few thoughts in terms of how you can keep up to date with what's going on. Um, also a couple of uh, sort of areas where you can get resolutions or you can share your own thoughts and ideas. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you already been paying attention to release notes? Have you ever used the community for ma uh, marketing? And also have you ever posted anything in the ideas forum? I'd love to know. So let me know. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.